What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today we are going to be playing some of the new Squirrel. So, food builds are so much more fun. This is pack 2, by the way. So, no customs. We're actually doing a straight up pack 2 video, which is, I mean, I feel like, you know, you aren't seeing them too much with all the customs going around. So, with the new Squirrel, along with Megasaur, so, not Megasaur, I call it Megasaur so much. Oh my god, it's Sauropod. With Sauropod being in pack 2, along with Squirrel, you can just get free food. It's absolutely crazy. All the new food builds with uh, Squirrel being buffed feel so much more fun to play. It's just all around better. So, of course, we got to start off with our lovely little ladybug into a turn 3 rabbit, which is exactly something you want to see. We pick up Dromedary, hopefully get a few buffs for some of our future food pets. And uh, we're looking good. So I've really, really been in love with the new squirrel, especially in custom packs. Like there's so much that you can do and it's so much fun. But it's nice to come back to the the base packs every once in a while. I call it a base pack. Uh, and I, I guess it it is. It would be a base pack. So I would say pack one, two, and three are all base packs. And then everything else wouldn't be. So weeklies, uh, customs, anything that can change over time so i mean i guess they can change over time yeah, we're, we're we're going off into a tangent but it doesn't really matter <laughs> anyways we're we're here we're here to focus on a nasty food build so of course one of the big things you want is ladybug you know it's the the tier one that you can get an amazing tier three you can get of course is rabbit i didn't really want to go tabby cat tabby cat kind of um forces you to go like a different line of play and i really didn't want to go here i wanted to go longer term so we pick up rabbit we pick up worm um and these will be very very good additions to the team to hopefully get a squirrel the more the more food type pets you have the stronger that squirrel actually is so here if we can get a squirrel on the team and then a sauropod every single turn the the we need at least a level two squirrel or a level two sauropod. So every single turn, the three foods that are in the shop are absolutely free. And then you can just start gaining gold after gold if you get either one of them to say level two or even if you get one to level three. However, our build was just so dominating. We won so many rounds. The combination between uh, rabbit and squirrel with ladybug is so strong that, you know, I mean, what can you do but win that early, you know? Getting a cow here on turn seven is absolutely ridiculous too, because every every free food that we get, it just makes our team so much stronger. It's turn seven, we have a 1427 and a 1216 ladybug. Uh, there's not a whole lot that can win on this turn, or that can beat me on this turn. So, I mean, like, look at this team that we're going against, like, not even close, nowhere near close. Um. I don't think we really need canned food. I love to buy canned food like at every opportunity that I get, but canned food actually doesn't work with this type of food build. What I really want to get is our last fish and then boom, bada bing, bada boom. And then we can get into our squirrel. We haven't seen any squirrels yet, which is really unfortunate. Um, you want to try to get them as early as possible. So, um, so like in, if we would have got squirrel instead of worm, that would have been cool. But honestly, I think worm here is better and squirrel later is uh, better. So we even get our sauropod before squirrel, which was kind of unfortunate. But our team is full food now. And there we see the squirrel. Got to pick this bad boy up. If I miss him, that would suck. And we actually aren't going to go seal because worm and seal kind of um, work against each other. Now, Seal would still be a fine pickup, but I don't want to sell anything else, and I have to have the Squirrel. Squirrel is almost, like, mandatory now in these food builds. It just seems like you need it. Like, if you don't have it, you are missing out on so much. Even getting the apple for two gold, uh, like, just getting everything. So right now, all of these foods that we buy cost actually only one gold because uh, they're all reduced by one with Squirrel, and then every food that we buy for at least the three first ones, Sauropod gives us one gold back. And now that we have the level two squirrel, we're finally online. Every, those three pieces of food that show up in the shop on the first turn are free, absolutely free. And um, 
you know, if we found any more squirrels or sauropods, I mean, we would have just been printing money at this point. Um, and if you've noticed, we haven't lost any turns. And look at this. So the three three first foods, you might as well buy them, put them on anything. That's why the the equipment on our on our team is so diverse. We have two two meats, uh, a chili. Um, owie, I just hit my knee. I said owie too. <laughs> Uh, at least we got the melon on the worm. That's super important. I uh, definitely want both pizza and salad. Those are uh, some of the best foods that you can get for this turn. It's turn 11. So, of course, pizza. Um, and, you know, just anything that buffs. We're done with equipment. Like, we've got all of our equipment needs. I mean, there's no possible way that we're losing. I mean, look at this. Um, our team just gets stronger and stronger by the second. So, yep, one gold for all of those. So, three foods for for free and then we get to start the turn yeah that's pretty ridiculous i mean look look at this this is absolutely crazy for turn 12 and uh we can basically just roll it's because most of the time people would have to spend their entire turn buying three foods i get to buy the three foods for free and then start my turn absolutely insane um the only thing that would have made this better you know i'm having a hard time thinking of it uh, I know cat, of course, would be good, but that's in pack one, so you can't do that here. Instead, we have a uh, sauropod. So, and tabby cat doesn't really work with the team. You really want to feed worm. So honestly, this is like the best that you can get. Of course, I guess you'd want everything to be level two, maybe squirrel level three or sauropod level three. And um, this way, even buying the foods, buying the equipment that I already have and putting them on the same pet is actually worth it because it's free and it always buffs ladybug and they always get health absolutely crazy stuff that we got going on here food builds are changed to the next level and i'm absolutely here for it so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed like and subscribe if you did and you know what have a beautiful day